currently 5 a.m. It's officially fall, so I get to wear some really nice turtlenecks and things like that, which is my favorite. I love like high neck outfits or shirts. And let me show you guys, I got a new makeup bag. It's so good because it just opens everything now and it actually makes doing my makeup so much faster. You know how sometimes when you do something embarrassing, you can't forget it and it just haunts you? Yep, that happened to me last night. I had another tutoring session that I didn't film and I get really flustered when these are things that I don't know how to do and she'll show me new words or like expect me to know certain words and I'm like, baby, I'm just trying to remember how to breathe right now. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. She said that as you do it more, it gets better and I know that. It's just this is the hardest it will ever be and boy is it hard. <laughs> right now I'm using the Ilia Skin Tint. This color is exactly my skin color, which is amazing. I added setting spray to my routine and wow, it actually works. I don't know why I didn't think it worked, but I was like, I don't need that. I could just wear, you know, regular makeup and figure it out. I'm sure my face will figure it out. I'm just learning guys. I don't know. I literally just started doing this months ago. Most of my life I was like, I can never do this. Like, I'm not a makeup girly. I I just don't have it like I don't know how to do it when you don't know how to do something you're scared to try because you know that there's that learning curve but I force myself anyway and it's starting to look really nice and I'm like getting more confident in this one look that I can do so I feel like I can grow more obviously as the years go on running late per usual trying to find something to eat or somewhere to eat the place I wanted to go to it said that it's open at 8 a.m. and it's 8 now and when I went by they weren't open so we're just trying to find somewhere else to get breakfast before we head to Chinatown That was really good we found some like hole in the wall near uh, where we usually walk by and I was really surprised because I didn't think it was gonna be good no one was in there but they had everything like breakfast lunch and dinner and they served it all at 7 a.m. 
so I got like this Korean dish. It's called bibimbap or something like that. I'm probably saying that wrong, so I'm sorry. But it was really good. It was like a fried egg with rice, green onions, mushrooms, zucchini, and I, oh, I put shrimp in it. And it was so good. And next time I want to try like the kimchi fried rice because I really like kimchi now. I had it once. But it was really good so i'm guessing this place is going to be really good too needless to say it was delicious and we will definitely be going back i think it's like our spot i think we're going to come by every time we do like a new york city vlog because it's not too far from the train station so that's nice like i don't want to walk too far especially when we get here so early and it's going to start getting cold so this was perfect and the service was great it was small the food was amazing and not too many people seem to know about it or at least be up early enough to eat there so all in all, perfect place for me. I will definitely be back. because I'm exhausted but now all of a sudden I have all this energy it is so pretty here I've never been in my entire life I've literally lived here right next door my whole life never been here and it feels like a whole new world I'm so excited to try some food and just explore I'm trying to find somewhere to get coffee right now because I'm a little bit tired and then we're gonna start finding all the best dumplings in Chinatown it looks gorgeous by the way like everyone is happy everyone's eating and the portions are huge like I've never seen so many Chinese restaurants back to back to back to back and it's just so cool I feel like I stepped into a whole new world and I'm in love like I'm absolutely in love I hope they have like a little Tokyo I think New York does but I'm not too sure and what's really cool is that little Italy is right next door so it's within walking distance so all of this culture all of this food is literally steps away how amazing is that Dumplings and chili oil, that sounds good. Ooh, pan fried dumplings. Veggie fried dumplings. Soft shell crab. The vegetable dumplings are very good. I had fried vegetable dumplings <laughs> and I love the perfect like crispy outer layer and then the soft inside and it was amazing. They also had like a very unique um, soy sauce and that was really good too. So I really like that. I didn't really like the um, steamed dumplings but I don't like the consistency of steamed dumplings anyway. I just wanted to try it and found out I didn't like it. But yeah, on to the next thing. This place is so packed, way more than like Times Square it feels like. But now we're going to Chinatown Ice Cream Factory. It's supposed to be the super famous place that has really good ice cream, so I'm excited. There's kind of a line outside though, so I might be waiting a bit, so hopefully it's worth it. They have all these like really eclectic flavors. Pandem 
I don't know what that is, and black sesame. This one's really good, and it's my favorite color, so I really like this one. I can't really explain the flavor, it's very light though. And the black sesame tastes like black sesame seeds, I don't know what I thought was going to be different about it, but it's not too bad, like it's light and it's still kind of sweet, so it's good. I don't know why I'm like extra tired today, but that was really a lot. <laughs> we literally had to like run down to Penn Station, like knees to chest running. <laughs> and we literally almost missed it by like two minutes. I kind of want to take a nap now, but I have so much work to do. But today was fun. Chinatown is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to because I was just like so in awe of the place and I think I spent too much time in Bryant Park. So I think I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll get to work. I hope you enjoyed. I had a really good time. Leave in the comments down below if you know what pandem, pandem is because that's the ice cream flavor I got and it was really yummy. The black sesame seed one was a little too savory for me. I don't like when you mix savory and sweet together and that's what that was but I didn't expect it to be so I thought it was gonna be good and I didn't really like it but I really liked the green one which is the pan din am I saying that right I don't know but if you know what that is let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next vlog